I am back in my adopted Illinois garden and we're gonna find out exactly how it fared in the month that I was gone. Yesterday I did a little cleaning up and watering and today I'm harvesting peppers and we are going to dehydrate them. So stay tuned. Upon closer inspection, the tomatoes are winding down, but the peppers are going gangbusters. And my suspicions were right about this plant. This is a moringa. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Let me peel away the tomatoes here. This is another moringa bush. And it's just doing great here. This is not gonna make it through the winter though, so that'll die out. But check out this melon. I'm pretty sure this is a cantaloupe of some kind. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm going to get a melon cradle and give that some support. I absolutely love melon cradles. They are so cool, and you just lift them up gently and give them some support. And then the emerging growing melon doesn't have to sit on the ground. Look at that. That's a beauty. This rare lantana that I bought at Ed's Nursery is doing great. Now this is zone six and it won't make it through the winter, but right now it looks awesome. One of the melon vines is actually growing up the tomato steak. to get back in there. These look like jalapenos. You know, they have these little cracking marks on them, but they're actually still good to eat.
<laughs> okay, the mystery is solved on a couple of the peppers and only one pepper remains. The identity remains unsolved. Whew. Wow. Even when the sun's going down, it's hot. Okay, so all of these peppers that are cracked, as I suspected, are jalapeno. So I took all those off. There's plenty more green ones. I just took off the red ones. This one's pretty far gone. You know, as you probably know, a lot of heirloom plants were not available this year. Heirloom seeds were not available. These starts were picked up at Bonnie Plants. And as you know, nurseries only carry a certain number of varieties. They don't even begin to carry a lot of heirlooms. So the tag for this just says habanero. Well, as we know, there are many habaneros and they are of different heat nesses. And I would be happy to do <laughs> a taste test. I know you guys love that. This is the one that's mysterious. This has a spot on it. This is not a horrible thing. This is sun scald. So this pepper got a little too hot in the sun and so it's got sunburn. You can cut that spot off. If you only have one or two peppers, you don't want to waste them. You can cut that off and use the rest of the pepper. Uh, in this case, we have tons. <laughs> well, not tons, but more, more than will be eaten. Ah, it looks like this. It's more pointy on the end. This is not a big one, but it looks like this. And these are really hot. Now, I used to grow something like this in Late Bloomer Garden 1.0, and it was from Turkey, I think. Uh, but I don't know what this is. I tried it last night. I could only have a couple of little nibbles. And this, <laughs> I thought the Tabasco, the heirloom Tabasco tag was underneath this plant. And so I thought, gosh, that looks an awful lot like cayenne, but hey, I've never seen a Tabasco pepper. So, you know, this must be a Tabasco. But no, these are long red cayenne. And you know, they're pretty hot. I think they're about, 40,000 on the Scoville scale. I don't know what this is. I'm afraid to try it. And uh, the Tabasco are the ones with the little yellow candlesticks and they have yet to turn. So that'll be the last one. There'll be a lot of those. And of course, you know, Tabasco sauce is hot. You only use a drop on a whole serving of beans. <laughs> so they're gonna be hot too. So pretty much everything in here is hot. Now this, I believe, is on the same plant with the one I just had in my hand, the pointy one, this one. I think these were all on the same plant, but I cannot find the tag. I've been scraping all around and I couldn't find it. So what is going to happen next is these are going to be sliced, the seeds removed, I think and dried in the dehydrator. And then I'm gonna take a big bag of these to my, I'm just thinking as I'm talking, to my new house. And because I have a grinder, but it's still in California. So I'm not, I'm not gonna carry these to California. But I will end with nibbling on one pepper. So which should it be? because as soon as I bite into it, you know, I'm gonna to have to run for a glass of milk. <laughs> one casualty here, one of the last big tomatoes. I don't know if the vine was dead and it fell off or if I knocked it off, but ugh, it's really too hard to eat. Might soften up a little bit for fried green tomatoes, but I probably won't be here. So um, this one, I think I've tried, so I think I'm going to, and of course we know jalapenos aren't that hot, so I'm not gonna do that one. So since I've never had, <laughs> since I've never had a jalapeno in my mouth, I'm gonna take a taste of this. 
and then I am going to run for the hills. That cannot possibly be as hot as the Caribbean red hot pepper, red hot habanero. Okay, folks, I did it. It's milk time. Mm. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.